What's up guys, my name is Clark Haslett, better known as Adventure Athlete. And in today's video, you're all gonna get a chance to see what is inside my college football locker. Before we get into the video, I just want to first off say thank you guys so much for showing love and support. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and I never in a million years thought I'd ever be getting a chance to reach this benchmark in my YouTube career. The Adventure Athletes community has grown so much over the past two years and coming up on October 26th is going to be my official two years doing YouTube. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so we can keep on growing. And now with that said, let's get right into the video. <laughs> hey, uh... All right, everybody, welcome inside my football locker. I apologize because there is a light like right over my head, so I look like a holy ghost. But today is a Friday. That means tomorrow is game day. So I pretty much have everything I've ever needed as a football player inside my locker. So I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to break it all down for you. I'm basically going to be starting with everything in the top of my locker, then down to the middle of my locker, and then to the very bottom of my locker. So hopefully you guys can learn some of the tips and tricks that I have inside my locker that ultimately are able to help me as a college football player be able to perform on the field. So let's now get into what's in the top part of my football locker. Wait. What the? All right, everybody, so come on over here. I just gotta take a little step up right here to then get up to what's really now gonna be here in the top part of my locker, starting with some gloves. You know, winter is really starting to approach here in Oregon and uh, it got down to 34 degrees last night. So you always gotta make sure you got some warm gloves because it's definitely gonna get chilly here in like the beginning of October. Up next, as you guys can see right here, I've got my jump rope. This is one of the things I like to do sometimes before practice, and we're just gonna move. Up next, we got some black armbands, as you guys can see here, I wear these in practice, because when they go around my wrists, just like this, ooh, your boy's out here rhyming. Basically, whenever I sweat all here on my forearm, it doesn't get to my hand where then I'm gripping the ball. So basically it's just a great armband for sweat reduction. Y'all should definitely pick up a pair of these at some point, especially if you guys are quarterback. Next up, we've got the handy dandy hand warmer. Like I said earlier, this goes really well with the gloves because it's about to get really chilly out here in Oregon. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the gridiron glove, which for those of you guys that don't know, is a sports product that I have invented. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm actually gonna be pilot launching here in the next couple of weeks. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, we're actually also testing the gridiron glove here at Linfield College, as well as the local high school here in McMinnville. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I got some big news coming in regard to the gridiron glove. Let's now move on to the next item. We got the good old handy dandy ankle braces. For those of you guys that don't wanna tape up before every single practice, these are definitely the way to go. Oh shoot. Cutty. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Dude, did I crack the screen? Oh frick, I think you did. Oh my gosh, shoot. All right guys, so the camera's good. Let's now finish up with what's in the top part of my locker. As you guys can see here, I've got four towels. I basically rotate through these towels every single day because your boy's gotta make sure his hands are dry during practice. Up next, this is one of my little secrets and something I like to do before every practice. I got my first warm milk chocolate protein and a protein shaker and I smack down a protein shake just to get some extra protein and carbohydrates. Ooh. And just a little bit of a pre-workout kick right before practice. Next, we've got our uh, football play cards, which <laughs> these are top secret. Up next, I've got my handy dandy headbands, which are all homemade, as you guys can see right here and here and here. Basically, I wear those on my head so then they reduce the sweat from my helmet and so that no sweat gets inside my eyes. We're almost not done here, guys, with what is in the top part of my logger, as y'all can see here. I got some good old-fashioned baby powder, some deodorant, and some ibuprofen. You can never go wrong whenever you got some aches and pains. Make sure you guys use ibuprofen with caution. It might kill you, and it might not. I've got some extra knee pads because as football players, you always lose your knee pads. I bet a lot of you guys that are watching this video can relate. So you always gotta have an extra pair. These are my game on bands that I use. Oh, I smell fresh, just like game day. Right here, guys, I got my mouth guard. Why? Watch out! Yeah, I gotta practice wearing this because 
Sometimes I don't actually end up wearing them in the games, but don't tell my mom. And lastly, we've got a couple items right here. I've got my dryer towels, an extra mouth guard, some shampoo, and a ball pump because you never know when you gotta pump up your balls. That is now gonna conclude what is in the top part of my locker, and let's now move on to what's in the middle part of my locker. <laughs> yeah. Starting with my practice jersey, as you guys can see here, your boy's rocking number six again this year. Last year, I rocked number 11, but I have to go back to my roots. Plus, my sister, she's gonna be graduating from the University of Portland where she plays soccer, and she's rocking number six this year, so I had to rock with my sister plus Baker. That's my dude. And uh, for those of you guys that didn't know, my sister has a YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel. It's gonna be linked right up here. Right here, as you guys can see, like I mentioned, Today's Saturday, tomorrow's game day, so we're gonna be rocking the all white jerseys here at Linfield. Got the six in the front and the six in the back. These are super, super icy. Some of the guys on our team call these our Stormtrooper uniforms. Uh, they're super, super dope. Make sure you guys stay tuned because later in the season I heard that we might be getting some new uniforms. We'll see. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh my goodness. Fellas, it's time. Let's first dive in to my shoulder pads. For those of you guys that have been watching my YouTube channel for a while, y'all know that I rock the Rydell Power SPK football pads. I just recently saw an article about Tom Brady who has worn the same shoulder pads since his freshman year at Michigan. Fun fact, I've been rocking these shoulder pads since my freshman year of high school and they've always done a very good job. Plus my favorite thing about these shoulder pads is that they're super lightweight. Plus the pads don't interfere with my throwing motion at all. And lastly, I got the dope back plate on the back because y'all are gonna get a chance to see what I wear around my ribs because as you guys can see right here, this is what your traditional Douglas quarterback pads look like with the big old bulky rib protector compared to the Rydell Power SBK pads, which are a lot smaller. And my pair has the back plate on the bottom. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Do you see a major difference between these shoulder pads? Because I definitely can feel a difference. And I'm always gonna be rocking these Rydell Power SBK shoulder pads. Let's now move on to my helmet. All right, guys, so as you guys can see here, we've got my football helmet, which is the Rydell Speed Flex with the 808 face mask. And this definitely has to be one of my all-time favorite helmets. And uh, as you guys can see here, it's a little beat up, not going to lie. But this thing has done a really good job protecting me over the years. With that said, here at Linfield, we also do have a couple Vices helmets. And I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the Speed Flex versus the Vices. So leave a comment down below which helmet you would pick. I definitely don't know which helmet I would pick if I had to choose between the two. I got the chance to try on a Vices last week, and I definitely love the feel. But my roots say Speed Flex. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Up next, right here, we've got the Linfield Wildcats Game Day White Pants. Put the little Wildcats there on the back. And uh, yeah, your boy's gonna be rocking these tomorrow for our game against Pacific University. So uh, yeah, let's go get this dub. Go Cats. <laughs> yeah. All right guys, so for the last and final part for what's in the middle part of my locker, we've got my game cleats right here. So I'm gonna get a chance to open these bad boys up and show you what I'm rocking. For our Breast Cancer Awareness Month, now that it's October, your boy's gonna get a chance to be rocking these Nike Vapor Carbon TD cleats. These are the old throwbacks from like, literally like maybe 2012. Still think these are one of the best cleats Nike has ever made. As well as y'all know, I've been rocking the Nike Up Tempo OBJ cleats, as y'all can see right here. I'm only wearing these strictly on game day and strictly on turf fields. So these are super fire. These definitely have to be one of my favorite cleats I've ever worn. And lastly, your boy got the chance to get a custom pair of Nike Vapor TDs in the all purple colorways. Y'all can see right here as well as they do have the custom six right here on the insole. These cleats definitely mean a lot to me because I got these my freshman year of college and they've lasted me all four and a half years ever since I've been here. So fellas, that is now gonna be concluding everything that's in the middle part of my football locker. And now let's get into the last and final bottom part of my football locker. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the end of the video because I have a big surprise. And the last thing in my football locker, you guys are not gonna believe. All right, guys, so for the last and final items here in my college football locker, I've got two pairs of game cleats that I've been rotating in throughout the season so far, and big shout out to the dryer sheets because these things smell like flowers. Then if you guys can pan right down over here, as you guys can see here, we've got the official Linfield Wildcat logo, Wilson football. This is the football that we throw here at Linfield, but you know, your boy obviously has some of the Nike Vapor footballs in my locker as well. These definitely have to be my favorite footballs to throw, but unfortunately we don't throw them here at Linfield. As we pan down here, you guys can see here, I've got a case 
of body armor. And I always go with the peach mango. I get the chance to drink these every now and then before practice if I'm not feeling too hydrated. And I think right now is also one of those times where I should definitely be getting hydrated before the game for tomorrow. So let me just smack this down real quick. <sighs> just like that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, let's finish off with what's inside my football locker. And you gotta always just have a good little baggie of man beans. You get that nice little bit of vitamin C as well as that little bit of carbohydrates that can just boost your energy and help you make sure that you execute well throughout practice. You can never go wrong with these bad boys. The good old Fit Crunch Bars. Big shout out to my buddy, David. He's always making sure that I'm getting my crunch on because before practice, whenever I'm hungry, I get the chance to munch on one of these. And uh, if you guys haven't tried the peanut butter flavor yet, make sure you do so this is also not a sponsored advertisement so fit crunch bar feel free to hit me up when i'm not a college football player and uh yeah we'll talk we'll talk all right guys so now as you guys can see here the last thing that's in my football locker is my organizer drawers and as you guys can see here i got my phone on it helps me get loose right before practice i got myself a bucket hat whenever we have our walkthroughs and it's sunny you boys got to be rocking one of these so i don't get sunburned on my forehead as well as in this top drawer, a lot of the majority of the stuff has to do with tops that I wear during practice as well as games. Right here is the Evo Shields, what I wear around my ribs to keep them protected. And then like I said, fellas, everything else pretty much is a top that I get the chance to wear during practice or sometimes even in a game. And uh, this organizer drawer just really helps me make sure I stay really organized. And uh, I think that's everything here on the top. Let's now move into the bottom of the organizer. And then we're about ready to be wrapping up this locker room tour video. Yeah. I've got a lot of stuff in this bottom organizer dresser drawer. And uh, first off, we're starting with some girdles. I got one girdle, I got two girdles, and I got three girdles. With the girdles come the variety of practice pants that we be rocking every single day. And uh, we rocking that nice little perp. And then lastly, your boy's got a bunch of tights that I get the chance to rock during practice as well as in games because here in the Pacific Northwest, it gets pretty chilly. And as a player, I gotta make sure that I'm staying warm on the sideline. <laughs> All right guys, it is now time to reveal the last and final item inside my football locker and it is, hey, it's the boy Artemis. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his YouTube channel. It's gonna be linked down in the description below. Big shout out to him for helping me film this video. And with that said, fellas, we're now gonna be wrapping up everything that's inside my football locker. Thanks again so much for showing love and support. And again, big shout out to the boy Artie. Wish us luck in our game tomorrow. We'll be seeing you guys in a couple days. Yeah. yeah.